A number of non-governmental organizations have chipped into rural areas by setting up solar-powered boreholes and solar power plants like this one in Mashaba. The data or data of households using solar energy and the amounts of energy being generated by these households is still a bit sketchy. In line with net metering, the solar-connected households sell extra power they generate to Zesa. Recently, the government said it would commission an audit to ascertain the amount of power households are producing. Prices for buying and installing solar kits can be very steep, especially for low-income earners. 5 kVA solar kits that exclude power-heavy appliances like electric geysers and a stove will cost between 4,000 to 7,000 US. These price ranges depend on a household's specification. A 10 kVA to a 15 kVA can get you off the grid at a price range between 10,000 to 15,000 US. An important thing to note is government was trying to push through a 150 US minimum wage or the equivalent in local currency at the prevailing bank rate across all sectors. So you can do the math. Companies are fast adopting the use of solar energy for their operations as a more reliable alternative. Zimplants, Tanganda Tea, Nimbe French and many others have installed solar power plants for their own operations. A while ago, Zimbabwe Electricity Distribution Company, ZETTC, invited bids for additional power for independent power producers. Independent power producers working with solar were also encouraged to feed their solar power into the national grid. So far, government has licensed independent power producer projects with an installed capacity of 7,000 megawatts. However, contribution to the grid remains low. Um, to, be, to, be, to be very honest, um, coal is still around for a long time. The, the, the amount of reserves that we have got and the cost of production for coal, because if you are using coal, you can be able to produce electricity at less than six or seven cents per kilowatt hour. But if you are looking at renewable energy, solar, um, wind, and other forms of energy, in the short term, the cost of, pro of, pro of production is very high. Uh, if, if you look at um, a local, Kariba can only be able to produce it over nine cents or 10 cents uh, per kilowatt hour. Okay. As compared to coal, coal it's, it's cheaper. Yes, we are transitioning to renewable energy, but the pace at which we transition to renewable energy is to take care of one, the ability to be able to fund renewable energy. Number two, the reliability or consistency in terms of production. So we have had some of these coal-fired plants that have survived over 50, 60 years, and they are very reliable. So we should not throw away that. Some independent power producers are failing to get funding. For instance, Sengwe Power Station or Rio Zim in Kokwe was meant to build a 2,300 to 2,800 megawatt coal power plant. However, one of the main funders of coal projects around the globe, China, announced that it would stop building new coal projects. The government has embarked on a number of initiatives to increase its power generation capacity. With assistance from Chinese investments, yes, that's the same China that has stopped backing coal power plants around the globe, government is pushing for the completion of Unit 7 and Unit 8 at a cost of 1.4 billion. A couple of weeks ago, Unit 7 was completed. There are also efforts to refurbish old units in Wange and smaller thermals to improve systems and energy output. The expansion project will increase Wange's generation capacity from the current 920 megawatts to 1,520 megawatts. 91 independent power producers with an installed capacity of 7,000 megawatts have so far been licensed. However, their contribution to the grid has remained low due to the lack of funding, sub-economic tariffs, government interference in pricing, currency fluctuations and disputes. Some of the solar power plants include Harava, Central Grid,
okay that's a bit strange because it's supposed to show me um, the one in Mwange and it's just showing me dots like everywhere that's that's Mwange coal power station um, hmm. how about Images of the solar panels they, they are there but if I'm looking at this right here like there's there's nothing so requested number will not receive calls at the moment please try again later your requested Okay. There's Wange Safari Lodge here. Is Hello, yes, is this Wange Safari Lodge? Yes, it is. By the main road, it was it, towards Victoria Falls. It crossed my back. No, it's okay. Thank you. Thank you. along the main desert. ah there it is aha 